This video is going to go over how to grade a test that has multiple versions. And before you begin this, you need your match.txt file, which you created in the previous video. So I'm going to start having already scanned in my data. You can see I've got four tests, and the fourth test is uh, version B. So we know that we've got at least two versions. Um, I'm going to click on Grade Wizard. And in this case, we're going to construct multiple answer keys. And we're going to do the advanced version. Click on Next. And here's where you can enter in your key. So you can either put these in manually, if you've just got the key in front of you, or you can also go up to Answer Key Source. And uh, if you've already bubbled in a form, this might be a faster way to do it in advance. So I'm going to click on Read Wizard, and Get Key. And I've already put the key in the scanner. So I'm just going to click Read. And this is going to scan in just like a regular test. And I come back and I can see that my, my answer is scanned in. This is a 10 question test. I'm going to click on next and just make sure that it's grading questions 1 through 10. That looks good. Uh, it's not grading question 11, so that's good. I'm just going to make sure that none of these are being graded. So I'm going to go all the way to the end, hold down the shift key, and click uh, question 100. So now 11 through 100 are selected. And I'm just going to make sure that this grade, this question, is unchecked. I'm going to go to next. For the grading scale, this is just for labeling grades within Remark. You're always going to have the raw score later on to assign whatever grade you want. But I'm going to use uh, the general scale with pluses and minuses. And click next. And now we've put in the answer key for version A. Now we need to use that match.txt text file to show how version B relates to version A. Essentially, which question from version B corresponds to which question on version A. So the, like I said, the one that the answer key we already put in was version A. So we're going to uh, select that. Now I'm going to click on import and go find the match.txt file that we created. So that was on the desktop in the example test folder, match.txt. And you need to make sure to click first column contains version identifier and click OK. And so when that imports, you can now see we've got another version over here. So this is version B. This is version A. And so what this is saying is, for version B, the first question corresponds to question 6 from the original version, version A. The second question on version B corresponds to question 10 on version A. And as long as that looks good, we can click on Next. Don't have to do anything here or here, so we can click Finish. And you want to make sure to save your answer key for later. So I'm just going to call this uh, Answer Key. And it's saved. And when that finishes, we now have the option to display reports, which is going to be in the next video.